Why is the lack of seasonal agricultural workers considered a problem given the high unemployment rate in every Western country? Currently farmers in Western countries are warning governments that without foreign workers their fields will be impossible to harvest. We are in need of a lot of foreign workers, A. Stein Rood, a greenhouse farm owner and chairman of the Norwegian Horticultural Association, told The Globe and Mail. If we cannot get these workers in the coming weeks, our farmers won't risk putting a lot of plants in the soil. That may affect the food supply. At the same time Western nations are about to face unprecedented levels of unemployment due to the COVID-related shutdowns. On the face of it, this seems like a perfect match. People who lost their jobs could now work their local fields, earning a salary and supplying much-needed food for the nation. So why is this considered a problem, rather than a blessing in disguise? Shouldn't governments be happy they have job openings for the unemployed? I do understand that working the fields is difficult and only young people could do it, but currently a lot of young people lack a job too, so that looks like a manageable problem. I think these countries are in fact approaching this as a problem that has an obvious solution, as you suggest. The issue lies, however, with convincing their populace to work these seasonal jobs, and the inherent nature of seasonal agricultural work. Firstly, the levels of unemployment are not necessarily going to be as bad as you might think, at least in some countries. Many Western countries, including Norway, which you mention, and later, the UK, have implemented schemes which will allow companies to keep employees who have been furloughed due to the crisis on the payroll by covering a large portion of their wages. These schemes don't stop claimants from taking another job, at least in the UK's case, but potentially reduce the need for them to do so. Secondly, the nature of this work means that for this to be a long-term job choice, workers need to be flexible and able to travel around the country. The BBC points out that, one reason overseas workers are recruited for these picking roles is, that farmers require temporary, flexible workers who will move around, the country following the crops. It is often difficult for local people to fill these roles as they are, extremely busy for a short space of time, for example, two months to, pick apples, with no work for the rest of the year. So while it might be easy to find workers in one area of the country, it is currently infeasible given the COVID-19 crisis for workers to travel around the country as previously. Therefore, a much larger number of local workers need to be found in order to meet with local demand, rather than smaller groups of seasonal workers meeting the demand nationally. Additionally, Western Europeans are unused to this sort of work. According to The Independent, it's fair to say that British workers have turned their noses up at seasonal farm work in recent years, perhaps partly due to the availability of other, more secure jobs in more comfortable surroundings. It's hard work and the Eastern Europeans are experienced at what they do, says Oliver Shooter, owner of A. Lenton, which runs a group of farms between Skegness and Boston in Lincolnshire, the centre of England's vegetable production. It's not rocket science but it is quite a skilled job that these guys do, he says. A top picker needs to know and apply supermarkets, exacting standards for exactly how fruit and veg must look, as well as how to cut it and pack it. For that they'll earn £12 an hour if they're good. Many farms also provide free or subsidised accommodation. The seasonal workers that farms usually rely on, that know their trade and are experienced are unable to be used, so farmers are again being forced to engage a larger workforce than normal, in order to achieve a similar standard of work. This will, of course, entail higher costs, a longer training period, and presumably, a lower yield as mistakes are made. Governments are trying to deal with this problem by pushing the solution you suggest, the independent reports again. So acute is the need that the government is reportedly readying its own Pick for Britain campaign taking inspiration from the land army that tilled the fields during the Second World War. In Norway, the government has introduced a scheme which will encourage employees laid off by their employer to work in agricultural roles. New legislation means that if a worker is laid off and takes up an agricultural role, he or she will be able to earn both a salary from the farmer as well as half his or her unemployment benefit. It's not so much that the solution to the problem isn't obvious, it's that due to a combination of the nature of seasonal agricultural work, and the complications introduced by the current crisis, the problem is harder to solve than at first glance.